Court. The Federal High Court in Abuja on Monday fixed June the 30th to deliver judgment in the suit filed by Dino Melaye challenging the passage of the Infectious Diseases Bill. Justice Ijoma Oduku fixed the date after taking arguments from parties in the case. The bill, which is sponsored by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, and two other lawmakers, Pascal Obi and Tanko Sununu, seeks to empower the federal government to convert any property in the country, including private property, to isolation centers. Um, I will not call the adjournment of today um, a deliberate attempt to frustrate the hearing of this matter, uh, in the sense that um, because of the period we are in, and the limited number of days that the, especially the government offices are permitted to open. So I think that is what largely affected the ability of the respondents to quickly respond to all the processes we have filed before this honorable court. Be that as it may, um, the processes already filed by them as out of today is not competent in the sense that they fired out of time and they have not taken steps to regularize the processes. And the court today has also um, advised uh, parties to ensure that no step is taken to frustrate the matter that is already pending before this honorable court. Our expectation is that today the council will be ready to go on with the case, but time and using another excuse of other party, as it is. The Speaker of the House of, of, of Representatives is the major party in this matter. He's ready to go on. We are ready since last week. It is for them to get ready. But as it is, like we told the court, the duty of the National Assembly is constitutional duty. You cannot go behind the back door to seek to restrain the National Assembly. And we are so grateful that the court did not listen to them this morning. I'm still in studio to take a look at this conversation. Also, is Libras Oshama, legal practitioner. All right, Libras, um, the first question would be, are there considerations that need to be tabled down before the House is, uh, before any bill is looked at? Um, no. Uh, once a bill is introduced, it's, um, you know, the moment it's introduced, it takes first reading of the mm -hmm. bill and then um, subsequent second reading, mm -hmm. and then it goes to committee stage where there will be public hearing. Now, in spite of the reactions that has trailed this uh, bill, why is it still going forward, so to um, speak? You, you know, that's, I've asked myself that same question, oh, that okay. um, in spite of all of um, the reactions from um, Nigerians as regards um, the allowed no to this bill, that, you know, the speaker seems hell-bent on um, you know, still shoving it down, you know, the throats of um, Nigerians. I, I, really, I really would not know why. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, there have been so much rumors about maybe, you know, there are some unseen hands from outside of the country that are pushing, you know, this bill so, so, um, with, um, uh, ferociously. Mm -hmm. um, the governors have rejected it. Uh, the medical practitioners have rejected it. The average, you know, the civil societies have rejected it, you know, with, you know, the loud, um, you know, um, no, they said at the public hearing to the bill. Mm -hmm. And then even, you know, I learned Dino Melai, just your report also, had rejected, they had gone to court to challenge it. Yeah. Even though I doubt if the court has the power at this stage, you know, to ask the um, National Assembly not to go on because it will be akin to... Um, the court interfering with the powers of um, the National Assembly mm -hmm. as spelled out in Section 5, you know, of uh, the 1999 Constitution. The court does not have that power. Mm -hmm. um, it is only after that bill is passed into law that the courts can question the provisions of the, that bill and expunge them mm -hmm. from our law books. Which brings um, me to, okay. Um, but as, is, as, is, as we speak, I do not think that the court has power to question the powers of the National Assembly you know, on their um, ability to make laws or whether the law, whether the, no matter how obnoxious mm -hmm. that law is, the court does not have the powers to question it. You wait for the law to be passed first. But be that as it may, the, everybody had said no to the bill. Right. I think at this stage that what would have been honorable for the honorable speaker to, to have done would be to withdraw that bill 
and probably, maybe possibly go back and rework it. But insisting that he must shove it down the throat of, of Nigerians also he should know with the litigation and then the rejection of the bill, he should also know that, you know, even if the bill is passed, mm -hmm. it will be an effort in, in, in futility Futurity. because the people are going to challenge the provisions of the bill that I have raised, you know, variously. Mm -hmm. And then those bill, and this, if those sections are struck down by the court, then the bill will end up as a paper tiger. Right. And so what's the essence? Mm -hmm. Now, lastly, um, Counsel to the Attorney General of the Federation, who is the respondent uh, to this case as filed by Dino Milayo, has mentioned just what you said, that, well, nothing can be done because this is a bill and it's yes. not yet passed. But my question is, if um, a bill such as this is uh, prompting this kind of reaction, we all, almost unanimously, everybody is saying, no, this is not going to work. Uh, why do we need to move on? Is there no way, we, uh, is there no provisions in the law that can say, well, if we have bills like this that is uh, generating already anger and um, some level of emotions among the people, we shouldn't proceed with it. Yeah, that's the essence of um, the bill getting to committee stage. Mm -hmm. You know, at the committee stage, the committee will write a report um, that the bill had been rejected by, you know, um, a committee of the whole, uh, including, you know, um, the public hearing set up by you know the committee that at the mm -hmm. public hearing this is the report you know from stakeholders and the people and that also that this is a report from the members of the committee mm -hmm. so at that stage the bill can be rejected mm -hmm. uh, even during debate even if the bill scaled through the the committee stage right. even during debate members can still vote against you know the passage of that bill mm -hmm. and and with the speed that um, the, 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 the Senate or the House of Rep, the Speaker is passing the bill. Even if the House of Rep passes the bill, right. you know, it also would need you know, the concurrence of the National Assembly, of the Senate, and then the assent of, um, of, of Mr. President. And so with all of these issues already, you know, that the bill is already generating, mm. I think that the best thing for the Speaker to do now is to honorably withdraw that bill right. and then maybe go back to rework it because it's an obnoxious bill. It tries to create, you know, um, a, it's trying to create a law that is, you know, higher and, um, um, what do I put it now, that is higher in terms of applicability than this constitution because most of the sections of that bill are running contrary to the provisions of the constitution. And we all know right. by virtue of section one, subsection three, that the bill is then on arrival, even if it becomes a law. Okay.